just as Rosh Hashanah has a future prophetic fulfillment in the rapture, Yom Kippur has a future prophetic fulfillment as well. The purpose of Yom Kippur in the past was for the national repentance of the Jewish people for their prior sins of the last year. In the future, though, at the end of Jacob's trouble, the tribulation period, we shall see the whole nation of Israel that is left over from the Holocaust of the tribulation place their trust in Yeshua as Messiah and receive Him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This will occur on Yom Kippur at the end of Jacob's trouble. Let's take a look at Zechariah's prophecy concerning this future Yom Kippur toward the end of the tribulation period. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. It's a powerful scripture here. God is speaking and He says, And I will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplication, so that they will look on Me whom they have pierced, and they will mourn for Him as one mourns for an only son, and they will weep bitterly over Him like the bitter weeping over a firstborn. Here we see the Jewish people receiving the Ruach Chodesh, the Holy Spirit. Now the only way to receive the Spirit in this age is by believing on Yeshua. Mm -hmm. The Jewish people of Jerusalem received the Spirit so that they could look on me whom they pierced. The Lord God is the one who is speaking in this verse, so He is the me of this verse. So the Lord God was pierced. Who could this be? Yeshua, the Messiah, obviously. So Yeshua is the Lord God spoken of in this verse. And the whole nation left over at the end of the tribulation period will finally believe in Him. They'll be saved and have their names written in the book of life. Then Paul's prophecy of Romans chapter 11, 26 will finally be fulfilled. And thus, all Israel will be saved. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord is yeah. right. So my friends, this is what Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, is all about for the Jewish people. If you're not saved and know your name is not written in the book of life because you know you are a sinner and you are watching this show right now, your fulfillment of Yom Kippur can be today by repenting and believing in Yeshua as your Messiah, Lord and Savior. He died as the two goat sacrifice for your sins not just for the past year, but for all of your sins, mm -hmm. past, present, and future. He resurrected from the dead to show us there is eternal life after death. Where you end up in eternity is up to your decision about who Yeshua is in your life. If you have accepted Yeshua as your Messiah, would you please contact us through our website. 